currently 6 a.m. I've just gotten up and come straight to my lounge room ready to do some work. As you guys know, before everything happened, like everything that's going on in the world happened, I was going to this thing called 5.30 Club and I was getting up at five every single day and going to Cronulla and we were doing this club at a cafe and it was honestly like the best way to start my day. I would just sit with my friends, have a coffee, get some work done, then head to the gym and I've been really missing it and so has my friend Jessie so we decided that we might as well do our own 5.30 club in our apartments and FaceTime each other although we did have a bit of a sleep in this morning so it's more like a 6am club but um if you're wondering why I'm whispering it's just because Brayden's asleep in the room next door so I don't want to wake him up but I might give Jessie a FaceTime now because it's 6am so hopefully she'll be set up to start doing some work so it's now 8 a.m. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really get that much work done. Jesse and I just sat there and talked for two hours, but it was a very long overdue catch up. We haven't seen each other in a few weeks, obviously because of self-isolation. So we just had like so much to talk about, but I had to get off FaceTime because Brayden and I are actually planning on going for a run this morning. So we were actually gonna get up and go for a run at seven, but I decided I'd just like let him sleep in for a little bit longer. And also I was enjoying talking to Jesse a little bit too much. So I was like, I'm gonna sit here and talk to Jesse and then I'll wake Brayden up at eight. So. I'm gonna go wake him up now and then see if he wants to go for a run. Brayden is now awake and we're getting ready to go for a run. We're just gonna go for a run around the block. Um, although it's really rainy today, so I'm hoping we don't get drenched. Since isolation has been taken like really seriously and people haven't been like going out of their houses very often other than for like essential things, I have been so bad at exercising because like, I guess my apartment's not huge. I don't have a lot of space to do workouts and stuff. So I just like have not been motivated to do it. So Braden's held me accountable and he said that we're going for a run today, whether I like it or not, it's happening. So, you know, I'm gonna get my body moving, which is good because I really do feel like it's taken a mental toll on me like the last week because I haven't been doing any physical exercise or going out and getting fresh air. That's the thing, like I'm one of these people who's really motivated by other people. And since I can't necessarily work out with my friends and do my normal routine, I've been really struggling. So I'm trying to get into a new routine now and find like what works for me in like my home environment. And luckily I've got like a good little kind of running track right downstairs by my apartment. So we're gonna run that. As you can see, we are back from our run and I just did a little stretch just then. I am so bad at stretching. Like, I'm a pretty unflexible person, so stretching is something that I've been like trying to prioritize this year. Like, to be honest, I haven't been very good at it lately, but I did go through a phase where I was doing yoga quite a lot. So I'm trying to like find ways to implement stretching into my daily life. I was feeling a little bit sore after that run, so I thought better stretch. Our run was pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's a short I feel like I did much better with that run than I have in the past. Like I feel like my stamina is a bit better, which I'm really happy about. And it definitely did boost my endorphins. So I'm really happy. Although I am like overheating now. I've had a shower and I just still can't stop sweating. I'm so hot. Why don't you sit outside? <sighs> yeah, I might sit outside for a second, but I wanted to check and see how far we actually went. Have you touched yet? Yeah, so we did 4K. Okay, cool. 4K, 4,287 steps. Well, I guess we're taking long Why strides. Why say 87, but it's 86? Oh, did I say that? We added an extra one step on. Did I really? Yes. 
<laughs> that is my dyslexia. I'm not taking the piss. I genuinely have dyslexia. Oopsies. Now it's 9.45 a.m. and I'm ready to get stuck into some work. Since I didn't really do any work this morning when I was talking to Jesse, I'm gonna do my emails now and then they're over and done with for the morning. <laughs> taking a little bit of a break from doing some work and I'm gonna make some banana bread. Now I'm thinking of banana bread, I'm like, oh, there's nothing better, I'm craving it so much. just been eyeballing this whole thing like I've just been guessing um don't know how it's going we'll see if it actually works but I feel like I need a lot more flour I actually was using this whole meal spelt flour and then ran out so since I ran out of flour I've decided to use oats as a substitute so I'm just gonna put these in my Nutribullet and blend them up a little bit and it will go to like a flour consistency and then I can use that instead <laughs> As you can see it's looking pretty cooked but if I just move it slightly let me just move it a little bit you can see it jiggles like it's like jelly so it's obviously not cooked in the middle so I just FaceTime my mom and she said to put some aluminium foil over the top so that it doesn't burn the top and then turn it to a really low heat and just like let it sit in there for like ages and just keep checking on it all right while the banana bread bakes I'm actually going to read some of the book that I'm reading at the moment it's by Alyssa Vitti it's called In the Flow this is what it looks like. I'm honestly not a big reader. I've never been one to like love reading books until recently. Um, I think I just really like the idea of getting heaps of knowledge from books because like, you know, they can inform me so much. I love listening to podcasts and all that kind of thing. So I'm like, I'd probably love reading books as well. So I actually came across this book from a podcast that I was listening to that was all about your hormones and how to balance your hormones and how to kind of live your life in tune with your menstrual cycle if that makes sense so this book is basically a guide on how to do that and it's really interesting it's telling me these things about like how to live your life in tune with your infradium rhythm i'd never heard of that before but it's telling me about that um it's also telling me about things that i should be doing in different stages of my cycle like for example what i should be eating when i'm on my period what i should be eating when i'm ovulating and stuff like that if you guys are interested in checking the book out i'll link it down below as well as the podcast i listened to because it was actually really interesting and informative and i would love for you guys to let me know if you have any book recommendations because at the moment since we are in like self-isolation and some people are in lockdown we have a lot of time to ourselves and in our house and we need to find activities to do and i feel like reading is one of those things that we can do and for so long I've been like I just don't have time to read and like that's a lie I actually do have time I just have to actually schedule it in so I've scheduled in half an hour for today for me to read this book so I'm gonna have a little read while my banana bread's cooking <laughs> I got hungry so I've decided to make myself some lunch I'm just having a sausage and salad wrap Obviously, I'm going to wrap it up. I just left it open so you could see what was inside. But I'm just going to eat this and finish reading my book. I've just finished my lunch and now I'm going to do some housework. I'm just going to do it for about 10 minutes. I'm just going to bring the washing in, do the washing. I was really inspired by a podcast that I listened to lately. It was one of Georgie Stevenson's and she interviewed just another mummy blog. And she was saying how she does like 10 minutes of decluttering every single day. So it's much more manageable. And even though I don't need to declutter on an everyday basis, I feel like cleaning on an everyday basis is obviously really important I obviously do all of like the basics like cleaning the kitchen and doing all that kind of stuff but there are cleaning tasks that only need to be done like once every few weeks or so so I'm gonna use that 10 minutes today to do my laundry <laughs> banana bread's done 
I'm not 100% sure if it's cooked fully in the middle though. Like I'm trying to figure it out, but I don't know. I feel like it just might be a bit gooey in the middle, but like that's okay. As long as it's not like water. Hmm, that looks all right. It's definitely gooey. Like banana bread. I don't hate it though. Ready? Open wide. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, so I think I'm gonna call it a day for doing work because I've just been sitting down working on a little project of mine for the last few hours. I actually got a lot done and I'm really happy with the progress that I made on this little project. So yeah, I'm really happy about that. But I've decided that I now need to take some time for myself and just chill out. So I'm gonna do a face mask, a hair mask, wash my hair and do all that kind of stuff because I've been feeling so gross lately. My skin's actually been breaking out a little bit and my hair has felt really, really gross because I haven't been able to go to the hairdressers and I don't know if you guys can see, but there's still like a little bit of blue left over in my hair. You really can't tell here, but my hair is still kind of like a little bit blue and I just don't know how to get it out. It's actually kind of like a greeny blue. It should come out eventually, like if I wash my hair quite a few times, but right now I've just got this teal hair. And it's funny because like you'd think that you wouldn't care because you're not going out to see anyone, but it just goes to show that we do these things for ourselves, not just for other people. <laughs> All right, so change of plans. I'm actually gonna drive to my family's house because I want to use their bath, basically. I don't have a bath and they do. And also obviously it would be nice to see them. So I'm gonna go around there and have a bath. Also, I'm so sore <laughs> from that run today. So like I kind of just wanna soak in a bath and like let my muscles relax. But like the main reason that I wanna use a bath is because I wanna put Epsom salts in the bath and then soak in it because apparently Epsom salts helps get rid of like a bluey green tinge in your hair and it helps get rid of like a semi-permanent hair dye. And like, it's really hard for you guys to see. I'm gonna take my hair out so you can see, but basically there's like a little tint. I don't know if you guys can see that. It definitely doesn't look as obvious on camera, but to me, I can notice it. It looks like I've swam in chlorine and it's not my hairdresser's fault at all. Like they're amazing, but basically it's just what happens when like you use like a bluey green tint. Like that's what happens when your hair fades. So I'm going to go and put that to the test and just kind of like pamper myself at my family's house. All right, I'm going to pop a podcast on on the way to my family's house, but I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys quickly about my self-isolation situation because you're probably thinking, why are you going to your family's house if you're self-isolating so my family doesn't live that far away from me and I've been seeing them this whole time and I'm just sticking to seeing my family and Brayden and that's it I feel like you just have to pick your select people who you can see and then like don't see anyone else and to be honest if we do go into lockdown I probably will move in with my family because I don't particularly want to be in lockdown on my own because who knows how long that's going to go on for. Let's hope it only goes on for a couple of months, but like I just don't particularly want to be doing that on my own. So that's why I'm going to see my family. I thought a few of you guys might be wondering, um, but they're not seeing anyone else as well. So it's not like we're all kind of contaminating each other, which is really good. So they should all be home when I get there, which leads to a very noisy house. So it turns out we don't actually have any Epsom salts. We had Himalayan rock salts, which is what I was thinking of, um, but that doesn't quite do the same thing. So I've looked up another thing that I can do to try and get like the blue out of my hair. And it said that you can use like a clarifying shampoo. So like a good one is by Head & Shoulders. So I've got this like knockoff brand, which is by Headstrong. And then you've got to mix it with some vitamin C. And like, I don't have vitamin C powder, but it says you can crush up a couple of vitamin C tablets and mix it and then just like put it all over your hair and then just sit there with it in your hair for, I don't know how long, a little while and then wash it out and it should hopefully wash a bit of the color out. We'll see, we're just experimenting here. It's better than nothing. of my hair to be honest I actually think it works quite well like 
I mean, there's still some little green tints, but like, let's be honest, that's a lot better than it was before, which I'm surprised about. I honestly was a bit skeptical, but my hair smells so nice because I use my sister's shampoo. It's the function of beauty one. It smells like mint and like, oh, it smells so nice. But anyway, I'm going to say bye to the fam. Bye, Anna. Dad gets annoyed because I come around and he doesn't even see me and he's like, oh, you're off. Cool. Didn't even see you. <laughs> So yeah, I'm going now. Bye, Dad. Bye-bye. See ya. Nice um, to see you briefly. Yeah, nice to see you. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm just going to end it off now because I'm just going to go home and get ready for bed. Oh my God. Just flung yourself at me. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this day in my life and you got a good insight into my isolation routine. Let me know what you guys have been doing while you're in self-isolation. But if you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.